Looking for a laptop that just works without draining your wallet? One that doesn't try too hard to be fancy but still gets the job done? The Acer Aspire 14 AI might be that simple, no fuss companion you didn't know you needed. At just $699, it promises long battery life, smooth day to day performance, and built in co pilot plus features. But there's always a catch, right? So, is this the right fit for your daily needs in 2025? Or will you find it too basic? Let's figure that out. If you're someone who doesn't care about flashy RGB lights or razor thin bezels, You'll probably like what Acer's done here. It's a gray-colored, sturdy-looking laptop with an aluminum lid and base that feels solid when you pick it up. Sure, the keyboard deck is plastic, and the design isn't going to turn heads, but it also doesn't feel cheap. That slight chunkiness you see, it actually adds to the durability. Although, the top-facing air vent right above the keyboard is a bit concerning. Dust and spills could easily find their way inside, and that's something to be cautious about. Now let's talk about the typing experience. If you're planning to write long essays or send dozens of emails daily, this keyboard might not be your favorite. The keys are a little flat and mushy, and they don't give satisfying feedback. The layout, however, is familiar, so if you've used Acer laptops before, it won't take long to adjust. One thing that really stands out in a bad way is the white backlight on the gray keys. In bright light, the letters almost disappear. A simple change, like black keycaps, would have made a big difference. The trackpad? Not fancy, but it works just fine. No major issues there. When you open the lid, you're greeted by a 14-inch IPS touchscreen that's sharp enough for casual use. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1200, so you get a little extra vertical space compared to regular Full HD. The anti-glare finish is great. It cuts down reflections even if you're sitting near a window. However, the colors look a bit washed out, covering only 64% of the sRGB color range. So, if you're into photo editing or watching vibrant content, it might fall short. The refresh rate is just 60 hertz. Nothing fancy, but good enough for everyday use. Brightness is decent, around 327 nits, so it holds up fine in most lighting conditions. As for the speakers, they're okay. Voices are clear in video calls and YouTube videos, but music feels a little flat. There's barely any bass, and high notes can get sharp. If you're someone who attends a lot of online meetings or classes, you'll be glad to know the webcam here is actually pretty decent. It's 1080p, handles lighting well, and the image doesn't look overly grainy. The dual microphones do a respectable job too. Your voice comes through clearly, and it blocks out a fair bit of background noise. While it doesn't include a fingerprint scanner, it does support Windows Hello facial recognition. And surprisingly, it works fast and reliably. That's a nice bonus for a budget machine. One area where this laptop really holds its own is connectivity. You get two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A ports, one HDMI 2.1, a headphone, mic combo jack, and even a Kensington lock slot. It's kind of rare to see this many usable ports on a sub $700 machine. And yes, it supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, so you're pretty much set. No need for extra dongles. Now, let's talk about how it actually performs when put to work. Under the hood, there's an Intel Core Ultra 5 226V processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a super fast 1 terabyte PCIe Gen 4 SSD. This combo makes a lot of sense for general use. Web browsing, Zoom calls, spreadsheets, multitasking with a couple of tabs open, it all feels snappy. The SSD in particular is really quick, which helps with boot times and app launches. But if you're thinking of using this for video editing or heavy multitasking, it's probably not the best option. The Intel Arc 130V graphics aren't meant for gaming or creative workloads. They're okay for basic GPU tasks, but not more than that. One pleasant surprise is how well the Aspire 14 AI handles heat. Despite not having a fancy cooling setup, it stays cool under regular usage. The fan only ramps up under heavier loads, and even then, it's not too loud. For day-to-day -day stuff, it runs quietly in the background without becoming a distraction. Battery life is another place where this machine earns some points. It can go over 17 hours on video playback, and that's no small feat for a $699 laptop. Realistically, you'll get a full work day on a single charge, and maybe even a bit more if you're just watching content or doing light tasks. That kind of longevity makes it a reliable option for students or remote workers who don't want to stay plugged in all the time. So where does that leave us? The Acer Aspire 14 AI is not trying to win design awards or break performance records, and that's exactly why it works for certain people. It's a tool, not a toy. It's for those who just need something that works without fuss. You get a decent display, good port selection, long battery life, and enough power for the basics. But don't expect it to blow you away if you need high-end graphics, color-accurate editing, or premium build materials. Would I recommend it? Yes. If your daily tasks include emails, video calls, browsing, documents, and you want a machine that won't give you a headache, it's especially great for students 
students, remote workers, or anyone who wants something simple and dependable on a tight budget. But if you're after strong color accuracy, better build finesse, or GPU power for editing or gaming, you're going to have to spend a few hundred dollars more. For what it is, though, the Aspire 14 AI delivers a fair and honest deal. Let me know in the comments, would this laptop be enough for your everyday needs?